So I saw the ping in Troy's server and I thought, you know what, why not join the fun room since I haven't played in a Troy fun room in a really long time. But however, I at the same time I didn't want to join because I know for a fact that we were going to be playing um, custom tracks the whole time and there would definitely be a lot of um, good CT players and well, you know, that's kind of demotivating because I don't play custom tracks and I don't have enough experience to um, play on those tracks. So I know for a fact that I wouldn't last long, but you know, I decided, I decided to join anyways because because overall I just wanted to have fun playing against Troy and yeah, that's, that's pretty much the reason why I joined. And in case you guys don't know who is TWD98 aka Troy, um, which I'm pretty sure you guys know, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Troy is, I'd say he's the biggest and the greatest Mario Kart Wii YouTuber on the community. And, well, you know, he does a lot of great videos, in my opinion. He, I, I'd say he's a good player overall. But there are plenty of Mario Kart Wii players that are better than Troy and them. No. Just no. No. But yeah, anyways, Troy hosted a 12-player item in KO about a month ago. My voice keeps cracking. <coughs> Me and Troy ended up getting into a 1v1 um, match. And you're probably wondering how did that happen oh. when I was playing against a bunch with a bunch of CT players. And here's the thing. A miracle happened. <laughs> yes, um, not only did I get super lucky, but something I guess you can say it was rigged. The, the KO was rigged and... It was pretty dead, I, I'm not gonna lie, but you know what, I got into a 1v1 with Troy. So basically what happened is, uh, I'd say during the beginning of GP2, like a, a lot of the good CT players disconnected. I'd say about four of them got disconnected. So the game, CTGP basically skipped GP2 and treated it as GP3 since the host rules was set to every GP, four players got disconnected and since Four players got disconnected, GP2 restarted to become GP3, and we were left off with six players instead. However, that did not mean that I had a lucky win moving forward because I still struggle because I'm not good with item rain. I, I don't play that game with a lot, so a lot of people a lot of people were stomp stomping on me and I, I still somehow managed to um, you know beat them. So that was great. Also, Matt Totino got really unlucky and he got KO'd, so Dude, I, I got so lucky. I, I can't I cannot believe I got really I got really lucky. <laughs> but yeah. Um after that I I was like, oh wow, I can't believe I'm playing with the with Troy, the, the YouTuber that I always admired since when I first got into Mario Kart Wii. I can't believe it was finally happening. We we're, we're gonna have a 1v1. Except it's not really a proper 1v1 since it's item rain, but still, I think that was pretty cool. But yeah, um I didn't think I was gonna win this round since Troy has a lot of experience with item rain. But you know what? I didn't care because I get to play with him and I think I was gonna have fun. Also, I have a Discord server if you guys wanna join. And as you guys may have seen in this footage, I am using a texture pack and it's a it's actually a upcoming texture pack for my nostalgic music and texture pack if you guys wanna check it out in the future. It will be released I say between late june and early july so yeah anyways without further ado let's get started with the commentary story whatever you want to call it yeah <laughs> this was the moment fellow gamers when i was gonna play a 1v1 against troy in a item rank ko that is pretty pointless because everyone disconnected and well it's not really it was i really did not deserve this but at the same time i did suffer a lot so i guess i will take it but yeah anyways i was i nervous no definitely not nervous was i excited hell yeah i was definitely excited because <laughs> oh yeah also i could not pick the tracks unfortunately and of course he was gonna be picking the custom tracks most of the time or, uh, or or at least half of the time however he did pick tracks that i was very very familiar with so and that, that was great yeah <laughs> also i don't know what the hell is gcn dry dry desert but i feel like i know what track track is that 
which we will find out in a few seconds. That, oh, oh yeah, I definitely know that track. Although I only played the old version and not the newer one, which I can tell this is the new one because this looks a lot more um, modern than the old one, if that makes any sense. But yeah, he, and anyways, here I was, uh, I, I don't even know what the hell to do. The, all I know about item rain is you have to pick, um, you have to get as many bullet, bullet bills as, as much as possible. That's, I guess that was the game plan. I don't know. That was pretty much the, this my, that was pretty much my strategy is to, is just to go out, uh, out of your way to get power items, even if they were in the off road, which turned out to be very viable, viable because that really helped a lot. Although there was also a risk between, there was also a risk when when it came to finding items on the, on the ground since um, well you know there's sometimes they could just disappear when you try to get them. Actually, I'd say half of the time, not really half of the time, but more like it just it, they do disappear pretty often. So you have to be careful with what items you try to get in the off road. If it's too far away, it's not worth it. Maybe it's not worth it. Unless if you're like really far behind, then it's probably worth it. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I learned a very hard lesson, as you guys can see here. I was trying to get a star, and it fucking disappeared on me. <laughs> I ended up paying the price for it. It, it, this, it betrayed me. The game fucking betrayed me. But yeah, I mean, I almost beat Troy right there. It's just that I got a little too cocky right there, and... Yeah, that, that, that costed me my race. <sighs> I mean, normally I would complain whenever a luck track gets picked, but since we're playing item rain, it doesn't really matter what track it gets picked at this point because, I mean, whether it be a skill track or a luck track, it's still going to be affected. The RNG is going to be affected by item rain at the end of the day, so... Yeah, I just I just went along with it. I, I didn't really care about it anymore. <laughs> but yeah, um, here I guess my whole plan again was to just get bullet bills as much as possible, to you know obviously catch up to Troy. Everything was going out fine so far. I wasn't hitting any item items. The only thing I was try the only thing I was hitting was just the power items. That's about it. Besides the fib on that point too, and then everything goes out well. And then the bill hits me there. Tried to catch up to Troy again. And here I thought I would have hit him with that bill, but apparently I did not hit him. And then from here he pulls a bomb and I'm like, well crap, I can't do nothing about it. So I just I just accepted my fate. <laughs> However, this was not over because apparently Troy got hit with something. I'm not sure what exact did he I'm not sure what exactly did he get hit. But from here on out things were looking promising for me because I pulled Star and Omega and I even starred him here at the end. And well, obviously here I just get I just got the big W. You get it? Because I'm, I'm big here. So big W. Yeah. <sighs> well, that, never mind. Okay, well here at least Troy picks a track that is not luck. Although it kind of is luck since the respawn makes it kind of a luck track. But I mean, it still requires um, skill to drive this track, so I, you know what? I would take it. I would take it. But uh, here, as you guys can see, I, I just my strategy just pick the power items, the mega, the, the build, repeat. I guess that's it. I guess a shock too. And then somehow, for some reason, Troy dies like that. I don't, I don't know what happened to him, but at least we caught up to him. And he gets killed again. <laughs> but now, now I'm just at the front, in first place. Although Troy is still right behind my tail, so I can't let my guard down fully. Not yet. I almost got killed by those fibs too. <laughs> he get, he pulls a mega TC. However, I also get a mega, so that kind of cancels out the fact that you. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Um. Pretty much about it. I'm just running, front running like the whole race. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say. Here's my picture of my guinea pig. Her name is Penny, by the way. Right, moving forward, we're on lap three, and I have a mushroom first place, and obviously I'm here to take the, the respawn, and here's the cool part. Um, 
Actually, I don't even know how Troy catches up to me at this place. However, he, um, this part, I remember that he tries to do a six bomb snipe, which he almost got me there. I almost died right there. But he did not get me, and I, I won again. Amen. All right, so race five. Now, you may have realized that race four isn't included. Why is that? You're probably thinking, me, are you stupid or something? You missed race four. Well, no, actually, I'm not stupid. That's because I skipped it because, um, nothing interesting was happening, so I just skipped it. Well, besides the fact that Troy beat me at the end, but still. Also, Troy some somehow died right there. I don't even know how he died. But, yeah, from here on out, I, I guess I went full focus mode because I didn't want Troy to beat me. Also, I didn't know there was frogs in this, this course. That, that's, that's cool, I guess. And a spinning banana. Uh, I, I don't know. Wow, custom tracks are really evolved. I, I'm not gonna lie. But anyways, um, from here on out, I saw Troy beat beat me, and then he, he dies for, for the bomb. A lot noob. But and then here, he, however, he gets me here because he, he heard me calling him noob, and I got target shocked. That's on un how unfortunate of me. But I get a bill, so I, I make a comeback. Not not really. He he, he passed me here soon. You see why. But yeah, um. Yeah, from here on out, I just... At, at this point, I remember... Oh, wait. Matt Totino's watching me play. Because he, he mentioned... The fucking Android, bro. I fucking swear. Anyways, um... I tried to get a Mega here. But the fucking physics betrayed me. Again. This is the second time it betrayed me. Or the third time. I don't even remember. And then, remember remember the, the spot where I got target shocked? I, I thought to myself, you know what? I'm um, with a shock here. Maybe he gets target shocked here. And it didn't work because I I, I, I used a shock too early. Oh yeah, so about Matutino, I, I mentioned him earlier, but I don't think I, I I don't think I finished it because the fucking Android ringed. But yeah, um, the last race Matutino said, oh nice blue shells or, or something. I don't remember, but yeah, basically the last race I threw like two blue shells twice in a row, and he from there I was like. Oh shoot, he's watching my POV. That, that, that is kind of embarrassing because he's watching me. He's, he, he's, he knows how horrible I play this game. But yeah, anyways, um, from here, I, I'm i like, oh wow, I can't, can't talk to Troy. I to get two bills. But that wasn't that wasn't still enough. Two bills wasn't enough to catch up to Troy. He was already to the finish line by the time I chained another bill. So yeah, I could have catch up to him if I, if I was faster, but... No, because I fucking suck at the game! So you may have realized that I skipped race 6 and race 7, and I went straight to race 8, and that's because I wanted to show not the boring races. Basically, I just front ran race 6 and Troy front ran race 7, and well, yeah, that's why I'm showing this race instead, because things actually happened here. <laughs> Well, or at least the beginning of the race, things really interesting happens. So that's why I'm showing this race instead. Like for example, um, here I was in first place, and then Troy kills me here because I, I suck at dodging people with an mega. But then here I make a comeback because Troy falls off, and um, I guess I killed him hereafter. I I I get a star, and he just runs into me and I just pull a mega. And I pull a blue shell too, which is really interesting because now I can probably guarantee my first place. Not really because this is item win that we're talking about, but still, at least there was a chance that I wouldn't get blued because I have the blue with me. I know that is very amending. Yeah, other than that, nothing much really happens. I just front ran the whole race. <laughs> but yeah, I also want to make this video short. I don't want it to like show just boring races and don't have nothing much to say. So that's why I didn't want to include race 6 and race 7 and race 4. However, one thing I will show though is my picture of my guinea pig. The other one, I mean. Her name is Lucy, by the way. I know, she's very, um, guinea pig-ish. Amen. And that's pretty much about it. I won that, that race. And we're, we're pretty much heading off to the final race. However, we're both tied, so it, it all depends what happens in the final race. And there, it will be decided who is the true champion of this um, KO. This pretty pointless KO. But you know what? At least I'm having fun playing with Troy because 
we're just winning, losing left and right. So I, I'd say this is pretty fair. All right, my fellow gamers, this is the moment when boys turn into men. It, is, it was the moment, well, can I finally beat TWD98, AKA Troy, the most legendary player in Mario Kart Week community? Well, I mean, so far we're not having a great start. We just got killed twice and I'm already using my bonus items, which turned out to be a bomb, which is not great for us because we needed something great like a mushroom or you know something that, to, catch, to help us catch up to us. Luckily, there's a bullet bear right there though. So yeah. Uh, the, although I was looking, I was really looking forward to having a one v one with Troy without the item rain in the way. But you know what? I would take it because at the end of the day, I had, I finally had a one v one with the YouTuber I always admired since when I first got into Mario Kart Wii. Yeah. <laughs> but um, other than that, I was not really worried. I was actually having fun the whole time. And I knew I could catch up to him if I would just if things just went in my way. And luckily I know I know this custom track pretty decent decently. So I wasn't worried that I would get lost or anything. So I mean in fact I'm already catching up here with Troy. In fact I might even surpass him on lap three. Which is pretty much what happened because I'm I'm the narrator. I narrator. I'm the narrator. I know what's happening. And I passed him here, which is very very great, I know. I, I'm, I'm so good at the game. And then, um, something happens. I don't remember what exactly happens. The bomb happens. No. He gets a TC. And then he, he dies from the T. He dies from the blue shell. And this is the moment, fellow gamers, where I get first place in this tournament. And I miss the boost panel. And then I see him pass by, pass by him. Pass by me. And then, and then, and then, it was all over. All it took was one bomb. The bomb at the end just ruined everything. My whole career. I I could not beat Troy at the end. I nothing just went my way. I don't know what to do. I Ah jeez. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Other than the fact that Troy, is, I guess I have no match for Troy. But you know what? I had fun with Troy. That was a pretty fun session. I am not gonna lie. Although I, I like again, I wish I could have played with him without the item rain in the way. But it was pretty fun, pretty fun. And then Troy just mocks me here, saying, "Gay, I won." Yeah, okay, Troy, funny one. Anyways, but yeah, that concludes the video of me and Troy having one v one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I re I really enjoyed e editing this video. It was it was pretty fun, you know. You know, me and Troy, I was winning left and right, and Troy was winning left and right. Race eight, we ended up in a tie, and I think race nine was the best way to end the the match, you know. But before you guys leave, I just want to let you guys know that I am I am reviving an old series back on my channel, which is Chris from XVR. Yes. Uh, oh, oh, geez. I wonder where did I copied that idea from? Hmm. I wonder. But yeah. Um. The only reason I'm bringing this series back is because apparently people rather watch this more than Justice for All Vehicles. I don't know why. They. I guess they enjoy watching the raw footage more than a very well edited um video that i actually talk in so uh, i don't know people i don't know people are just weird i guess but yeah the whole point is i'm reviving this series and i will be uploading i, I guess back in in a week or, or two weeks maybe um, i'm not sure but other than that that's all i have to say thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys next time peace